Peace and love. All right, let me, let me let me turn down my smart money TV. That sounded nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't suggest you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm about to go buy me a TV, yo. Like, let's get to the next level. <laughs> what came today? Oh snap! I ain't even see. Yep, yep. Oh, what's that green? Yep. Oh, that's lit. How the quality of it? Nice. And it fits good, too. Oh, that's lit. Oh, my, where my mind at? I'm going to have to go check the mail. Feel good. Yeah. Feel Feel good. Snug. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Look at, look at official. Got the incense in the back. Oh, you, you see it? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Bing. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all set up. So let me just clarify. Um, So... I'm interviewing, you're interviewing me. Mm -hmm. So when it says the path to financial freedom, changing your mindset, that's the title. Becoming open. So oh, this me. all this is you. Yeah, they're just some talking points from, from me before I bring you on. I thought I asked her some questions too. Oh, you, well, I think you did in between. I think at the end you asked her some questions, I think. Could then she bring you on? I thought she brought you on. Hold on one second. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn. I don't know if I like threw the questions back at her or. Mm -hmm. And we didn't talk a lot too. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I think I could just formulate some questions kind of like to ask you at the end. Because okay. we want to, like I said, oh, here we These are the ones you said you were going to ask me. Oh, let me show you which ones. I think I added two more, but I forgot what they were. Hold on. Do you feel hate since using the money? Have you ever? Oh, I got it. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dang, I was so far up. I was only able to get four. Um, I'm gonna find the other ones while we're on the call. It's all good. But those okay. are. Those are four I'm going to ask you, and then I'm going to find the other ones. Okay. Right. So live from Facebook. All right. And, you know, I got to set the little uh, share it, boot. Yeah, then I'm going to talk first, and then I'm going to bring you on and edify you. Yeah, so I'm going to, like, okay, I'm going to be like, you should see it at the top, though. Don't it say live? Not now. But oh, yeah. So, well, it say live preparing. All right, cool. Ooh, look at that Lamborghini. All right, so it's still loading up. So I have to put the title in there. Um, uh, yo, and also on that website, I can order like samples. Like they give you like uh, samples that you can order first. I didn't even know that. I didn't even realize that the samples was free. 
Ah, okay. I just asked someone to stand by for the team. All yeah. right, so freedom, the path to freedom. Mm -hmm. As soon as I hit go, it's going to come on. I guess you could just start talking. You'll see it. So, boo. Yep. All right, I think we are good. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So I want to welcome everyone that is here. I know it's going to be some people still getting on. So for those who don't know me, my name is Makisha. And today you're going to get some powerful, powerful information. Myself and my special guest, Ms. Isis Love, is going to be talking about the path to financial freedom. Now, this is very, very important to understand because a lot of times, you know, especially with everything going on, we're trying to figure out, okay, how do I achieve a different level of financial security? Because we see stuff isn't so secure anymore, right? So yeah, so to do that, it takes like three different things. The first thing is starting to change your mindset, starting to realize that it's not really about that so-called so so secure nine to five anymore. It's not about that anymore. You have to start changing your mindset and becoming more open, which is number two, to opportunities. So you're sitting around and you're, you know, you're praying and you're hoping that and asking for opportunities to come to create that financial wealth. But when things are being presented to you, you're not really opening your mind and changing your mindset to accept it, right? So what it takes is the third one, is taking a leap of faith. Sometimes you're gonna be presented with things that really don't fall into what you're normal, what you're used to, because you're comfortable. So sometimes somebody's gonna show you something and all you gotta do is take a leap of faith and just take a look at it because you never know what's gonna change your life. That's how I came into the financial path of Forex because I changed my mindset and I became more open to things, right? So today I want to, I'm gonna to be interviewing a special guest speaker, Miss Isis Love. And this is a powerful, powerful goddess. When the first time I met her, I just knew that that energy, that energy was flowing. And I was like, man, this is the one I want to follow. I want her to be my mentor. And it was just from one video, right? I watched one of her videos and I knew that she was the one. She's traveling all around the world. She came to me and she's like, yes, I can help you. And she didn't even know me. And she helped me further my financial career. And she helped me more on the forex side and mentally and also spiritually as well. So when she comes on the line, why don't you go ahead and take out your pen and paper because you're going to get some phenomenal information. This God is, when she speaks, you just want to be quiet and listen. That's how powerful her voice is and how powerful her energy is. So I want to bring to the line no other than the Miss Isis Love. Are you still there? Yes, 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 yes. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, everyone. And thank you so much, uh, my Keisha, for that uh, amazing introduction. And thank you so much for wanting to do this today. Um, I think some of the questions, um, I, um, I think you said you have some, a lot of questions from the audience. And I know that, you know, this clarity is really going to help our people during these times. So what you're doing and wanting to do this live is so very, very, you know, helpful. And it, and it lets me know that you're not only just thinking about yourself, you're thinking about the greater good of uh, other people. And um, I just want to say before I get started, if anybody's on, you definitely can go to my page and hit watch party or hit share um, so that everybody can get this information that we're going to be sharing today. So thank you so much, Mike Keisha. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to ask you just a few questions because I want to take up all your time. I know you're busy. But the first question, um, it's been a lot of posts going around, a lot of posts on Facebook, on IG. I'm seeing some YouTube stories. Everybody is talking about this money app, right? This money app. How can, what, what is, I want you to talk to people and explain what's the money app and how can it help them on their path to financial freedom? So what's the money app? Wow, 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 wow. I feel like uh, that's, that's a great question. And I feel like, um, I feel like I'm glad you asked me that question. I'm glad people asked because people need to know. So basically, you know, we have apps on our phone, right? We have apps on our phone right now, but I want you guys to think about something right now. How many of those apps on your cell phone brings you money, right? Mm -hmm. How many of them actually pays you? I'm not talking about Stash. I'm not talking about Robin Hood. You know, I'm talking about which one of those apps on your cell phone literally helps you take a small amount of money and grows it to a bigger amount of money, right? 
And so that's what the money app does, you guys. The money app allows you to take a small investment, right, and then a smaller amount from that investment and learn how to multiply it so you can grow your account by percents. So this is what I mean. Let's just say you started off with $100. That day, let's just say you made $50, right? The next day, maybe you only made 10. The next day you made 20. The whole point is that you're normally taking 10 cents of the 100 that's in their account and you are trading it. It's a trading money app. You're trading it for other currencies and that's literally how you're making money daily. Wow, amazing. You hear that all from an app. Like she said, we got so many apps downloaded on our phones, but are they making you money though? Man, that's powerful, powerful stuff. So what I want to ask you next is how exactly did you learn about this? How did you learn about the money app and where did your training come from? Wow. Funny story. Um, so mm -hmm. I want to say almost like three, two and a half, three years ago. Um, a little quick story about me is I was actually homeless. I, I started off living in my car, Dodge around 1500. Uh, with one of my um, ex-partners and um, you know we were living in the truck we found this amazing lady um, when we uh, drove down to Arcata California and she allowed us to stay like in her little shed tiny home so at that point I felt like I was at my lowest point in my life I was like you know what am I gonna do because I always ask myself Isis how can you get your money to work for you right Versus you exchanging time and energy for your money because my whole life I see my parents do it, right? So we know how spirit works. When you let go and let God, everything comes into your life. Some of the people right now are really at a crossroads of their life. And it's because they're not letting go and letting God. So I had to let go and let God and let go of the wearing and the stress. And when I, when I did that, I promise you, the right messenger came down. So one of my friends, Sky Sinclair, shout out to Sky Sinclair, told me about the money app, about the trading. She told me how she was learning from professionals, like people making, um, people making 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 just from trading. So um, I took a look at the school and I fell in love with the school. I've been doing the school ever since it's online. I just need a cell phone and Wi-Fi, And, um, I'm able to plug in. So that's where I'm learning. I'm learning online. It doesn't take a lot of my time and I love it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And powerful, powerful story at that. So you said you learning, you learned online, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you, like, what made you choose the academy that you learned from? Because you can learn from anywhere. Because I've been doing trading for the past three or four years. When I first started out, I thought I could go on YouTube and learn, but mm -hmm. it, it wasn't the same. So what made you choose the academy and the platform that you learned from? That's okay, I got you. So I chose it for a couple of reasons. First and foremost is culture, culture and community. A lot of times you sign up for things and it's like signing up for a thing. You know, it's like just being in like an organization, like being in like a company or being like in a, uh, a school where, remember when we all went to like college, it's like you can see the professors, but you can't really is no camaraderie. So the culture alone took me to the top because it helped my learning. I wasn't learning this by myself. I had a whole community of people with the same vision on cultivating generational wealth and doing better for their family. Also the leadership in the company, the, the CEO is a billionaire trader. He already had money. He didn't create this school to get money from the school. He already, he was a billion, a billionaire trader. When you know how to become a trader, you don't need people to make money. So just the mere fact that he's taking the time and energy out of his life to make sure that everybody else learns this skill set, that's another thing. And then also the technology. I mean, I mean, shout out to Smart Money TV. I mean, literally, smart money TV is being installed in people's houses all over the world. There's no trading platform out there that has the smart money TV like us. So, yeah. Ooh. Wow. The smart money TV. <laughs> Man. So, you know, I'm going to ask you about that. What's the smart money TV? You can't just throw it out there and then not, <laughs> not tell the people about it. Go, explain to people. What is the smart money TV? So, explain to people. 
Sheesh, the smart money TV is phenomenal, you guys. So, like, I haven't had a TV in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so the smart money TV, the funny thing is you can still watch smart money TV on your cell phone. And what it is is basically money TV is literally educators that's making the 10, the 20, the 30, the 40, 50, 60, 70, 80K, right, six, seven, eight figures a month. You literally can tune in. So you know how we got HBO like ESPN and stuff like that, right? Stuff mm -hmm. to keep us entertained and gossiping about, right? Well, with Smart Money TV, you have channels where basically the educators, the people are literally going to be telling you what trades to put inside the money app. So it's like, even if you're still learning the ins and outs of the money app trading, you still get to tune in to the TV, the Smart Money TV, and, and still make money. And see, here's the thing, my Keisha, people watching TV right now for mere entertainment, but their bank accounts are still looking like gas prices. So I say, cut your cable provider off and plug into the Smart Money TV. Hmm. Wow. Ooh, we could have ended it right there if you want to. Next <laughs> question, man, we could have. Mm. You're really dropping some serious knowledge today. Like I'm, we're gonna have to play this back as another watch party. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. you know, to make sure everybody's getting this information. So I was gonna ask you, is it true that you can earn while you learn what you just pointed out through the educators, right? Through the smart money TV. Yeah, yeah, and just and just to kind of like just piggyback on there. I mean, back to the money apps again right? There's other, now when I say money apps, it's more than one. Mm. That's the thing. That's the thing that we missing. Y'all may think it's cliche or, you know, maybe it may be far-fetched because we only know what we know. And, we're, and remember, my Keisha, 95% of people are employees. Mm. Employees and self-employed. So that means a lot of people don't even have the awareness of there being systems in place to help people actually be able to live their best mm -hmm. life while they're still making money. So back to the app. So we have certain apps that will literally send you alerts. We not talk about text message alerts from your girlfriend or your boyfriend who ain't talk about nothing. We talk about alerts, money alerts. Well, only thing you gotta do is come, copy the the, the numbers into the to the money, the main trading money app and make money like that without even really fully understanding the skill. Because let me tell you something, I'm going to end it like this. Everybody know how to copy. They did it in school. Everybody, if you didn't copy, you let people copy off your paper. So it's really not hard, my Keisha. Wow. Woo. So the path to financial freedom spoke about the money app, spoke about the smart money TV, spoke about the different tools, about the live educators that you can talk to and chat to if you have a question. This stuff is powerful. These are the keys to achieving your financial wealth on your path. Then you've got the culture, you've got the community, you got people like me, you, other people, tons of different people of different, just all kind of backgrounds. It's crazy. I just, I just wanted to reiterate that. So when we share this information, I know a lot of times when I share this information, I get the question, is this a pyramid scheme? Is this a scam? <laughs> Why do you think people have that type of mindset to even say that when we just told them everything that you can get? So why do you think they had that mindset of, is it to the pyramid scheme? Answer that question for me. Yeah, that's a good question. And, it, and, it, and I'm going to piggyback off of what I kind of said the last time. Like, it starts from our environment and our paradigm. And our paradigm is just habits that's instilled into the mind, into our DNA blueprint. And so most people wasn't brought up knowing how money really works. Most people weren't brought up to know how a business owner really functions. Remember, 95% of people are on the left side of money, the wrong side of money, the side of money where they gotta work for their money. So they don't know no better. They don't know anything else. Just like a baby. If you, th if you got a, a one-year-old baby, you know, or eight-month-year-old baby, and you put clothes on the floor to the baby and say, get dressed, baby. The baby's not going to know how to do it because it doesn't have the awareness to even think that. And so what happens is that people don't have the awareness. They just don't know. So they go into their fight or fight 
fear mentality and it's kind of like a defense mechanism that blocks them because they're there it's, it's kind of like the matrix when you start work, waking people outside the matrix they will defend the very same system that enslaved them so it's like a mechanism that that comes up no not they don't even think that their job is the real pyramid scheme their job is a real scam see they're so tight to the job thinking that it's secure and it has them that they don't even realize that the true pyramid scheme is the job because when you think about i'm trying to look for my uh my notebook when you think about oh here it goes when you think about a pyramid think about your job right now anybody on here i know my keisha is an entrepreneur so she doesn't have a job but anybody that has a job on here i want you guys to think about this i want y'all to think about your job you at right now and i'm going to show you how your job is a pyramid scheme real quick right mm -hmm. so at the top of the pyramid we got the co-found like the person who made it the founder of the company the which company your job right and then guess what you got the ceo you got the cfo right and i, I hope y'all writing this down because my writing forget it but you can hear me right mm -hmm. so then what you got you got managers Right, you got, and I know it's other positions. You got uh, supervisors, all these different people, and here you are at the bottom. All these people eating, and you down at the bottom, and you don't think you're in a pyramid scheme? They scheming off of your labor and your work, but you're so comfortable in your comfort zone because you don't know because of your ignorance. People were born into ignorance. And not to say that that's a bad thing, ignorance means you just don't know. You have the lack of awareness. So, and I'll end it with this because I can get very, very passionate about this, but I, I'll end it with this. You know, people, scam stands for still confused about money. People don't even realize how money work how, how it works. So they're still confused. So they like to say everything is, they don't even realize that if you got to ask for a lunch break, if you got to ask to take off work, if you got to ask to go on leave and go to sick leave, when no person is controlling your life and controlling your mind, they're controlling your time. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, that was just a <laughs> controlling your life, controlling your time. Man, if y'all not writing this down, write it down. Or if you know you want to go back and listen to it again and again and again, do that. That's that repetition. That's that paradigm she was talking about. So you can change some things, right? So powerful, powerful stuff. So I got, I got two more questions for you. Two more questions. Two more? Okay, okay. Two, two more, two more. So when it comes to the side of, you know, being spiritual, it's just, it's just like this barrier where they're like, okay, you can't be spiritual and you can't be trying to get to the money. Like they think it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's different, but... Can you talk on that a little bit? Can you be spiritual and still be getting to the money? <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good question. That's a good question. So I'm gonna brief it up like this. So a lot of people, a lot of you guys on here probably been following me for a while. And you know that I started this journey off not with finances. I started this journey off um, with uh, really getting deep into spirituality, you know, speaking about crystals and chakras and just certain things like that. And I went very to the extreme into that. And then I kind of ventured off to this financial path. And I kind of, it's not that I didn't put the spiritual down, but I feel like there's levels. And spirituality is such a broad tense. So the words that I'm using, I'm really doing my best to describe it. But it's levels to it, you know? And so I had to come back and double round and notice that money, spirituality and money is the same thing. See, a lot of people get this complex inferiority type of thing, the spiritual people like, oh, I don't need money. I don't need it at all. I'm so holy, my chakras are in alignment. I eat all vegan food, I'm a breathitarian. That stuff don't matter, because here's the thing, money is energy. Your chakras can be on fleek, but what's really gonna show it is the results. Your chakras can't be on fleek, but your bank account don't eat. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't be so holy moly and your bank account looking like zero. Because if you really believe in, in Jesus, or if you really believe in the universe, then how are you walking in fear at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. So once you realize that we live a supernatural world, 
And in that supernatural world, you can use the supernatural forces that's all around us to manifest and bring us stuff into your reality. Money is a lifestyle. That's what I realized being in this industry and being around people who are making 100K a month, half a million a month, a million a month. You know, I realized that it's a lifestyle. Who wants to ride Spirit Airline when you can ride in your private jet? You don't got to worry about taking your shoes off, taking your belt off, staying in long lines, when all you got to do is call up the person that gas up your jet and pick you up. It's a lifestyle. Why you got to eat unorganic food when you can get the organic food, eat the better stuff? We're settling. So mm -hmm. needless to say, they're two, they're the one and the same because everything is supernatural. Hmm. Wow. Powerful, 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 and much facts to that because I'm I'm living proof of it. Living living proof of it. So we'll talk about my story another day, but living proof of it. definitely supernatural success when you understand they're one, right? So yes. one one more question. One more question. Okay. okay. So um People know that you're getting success. People know I'm getting success. But are, is, it, is it really true that from the money app to the academy to the live educators to the big range of community helping one another, are people, other people truly seeing success? Are people truly like paying off student loans, taking care of those residual bills? Is, is it true? Yo, wow. Excuse me. Um, it's very much true. And, and this is what I want to kind of add to that. Like, it kind of went off a little bit, but I'm going to bring it back. It's so true, and it's so simple that people can miss it because they want to watch on the sidelines, right? Mm -hmm. People see the success that's happening, even outside of us, and they still want to wait on the sideline. I, I, it, it, it really baffles me because if I see somebody successful, I'm not going to wait on nothing. If I see their life come up, let me get on that train with them. I'm not going to sit back and watch. Why am I sitting back and watching? It's not changing my bank account by me sitting back and watching. Right? So to answer that, hells to the yes. Just mm -hmm. like that. Shout out to Brittany Burrell. Brittany Burrell mm -hmm. was in six months deep, you guys. She had one job where she had to do three positions. She was a surgeon tech, right? So she had to do that mm -hmm. and two other positions. She worked 60 plus hours a week and still didn't make no excuses. See, it comes down to how bad do you want it? My Keisha, people make up so many excuses, my Keisha. I mean, I didn't heard it all from here to there. Mm. But when I see people like Brittany Burrell sacrificing for her generation, and now making seven figures. Now, I know some people don't even know what seven figures is. Mm. It's hard for people to even wrap their brown on. That's, that's entrepreneur talk. When you hear six, seven figure talk, you got to be able to speak to the masses. Mm. So that means 100K, three digits, four digits with the commas, right? We talking about money. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Brittany Burrell is one of another. Akil Bay, shout out to Jay. Shout out to Jay on our team. I can't put money all the way out there because I got to stay in uh, compliance. But I want you guys to know that she took a very small amount and probably, I don't know how you say eight, you know how you say quadruple? How do you say eight druple? I don't even know how to say that word, right? I don't even know what that is. But she 8 x her account from a small amount of money, okay? She 8 x it in a couple of hours. Right? Was she able to pay off some student loans? I'm not sure, but I know that she has some stuff that she really needed that money for that next day. So people are paying off big debts, people are paying off small debts, and people are living off of the trading money without having to recruit, without having to sell, and they don't even got a clock in a cloud. Let me tell y'all something. You could be butt, ball, booty naked at your house making money from your cell phone. Facts. facts. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> so true. Yeah, this is true. So yeah. I got one last question. One last, okay. one last okay. question for you. So we talked about not sitting on the sidelines. Yes. So I know that we have this 
seven day money app free trial group going on. Can you yeah. talk to the people and let them know how they can get off the sidelines and just come in and see what's going on before we close the group today? Can you talk to them how they can get in there and what they're gonna get from that as well? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that because I got I got a couple questions. I was just uh reaching out to my network and they're throwing a couple questions at you. So after I ask this, I got a, I got a couple questions for you. So um so you guys look one thing that we gotta really practice is gratitude and be grateful, right? And humble. We are doing a seven day tithing back to our community. Me and my generation 12 family. Shout out to all my G12. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Me and my G12 family, you guys, we're taking our time, we're taking our energy, and we're teaching the community or exposing the community to Forex, what it is, how it works, the ins and outs, how to place a trade. For seven days, we are giving you guys value for free. If you've been sitting on the sidelines, watching, 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 still broke, still broke, still broke, watching, 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 still broke, still broke, still broke, you need to change that pattern. You need to watch and join. You need to join, join, get paid. Get paid, be engaged, be engaged, get paid, get paid, be in the social media stories, get paid, get paid, instead of watching the social media stories. So definitely get back with my Keisha, get back with me, get back with anybody from the G12 family that has shared this video to you, that has invited you to this live, that is in your inbox right now, and you better get in that group. Because let me tell you something, if your money is not making money for you, you are setting your generation up for failure. You're basically saying, oh, I don't care about my kids and my kids, kids, kids. They'll find a job. They'll find a good job. There's no such thing as a good job. Matter of fact, that's going to be a Facebook Live. A good job is an illusion. It's an illusion. So, <laughs> so needless to say, because I feel spirit coming through and I got to ask you these questions. Y'all mm -hmm. go ahead. We'll tell you more about the Money App Group. But I want you guys to know we're closing it tonight at 9. So when somebody come in your inbox and they tell you to download this, download that, don't take all day. Because guess what? You're going to get your feelings hurt. You're going to have to be on the waiting list and wait a whole nother seven days. So take this heart attack serious. Thank you, Mykeisha. Man, you be on it. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. Ooh. So... <laughs> I don't know if you want to add anything else, but I definitely have some questions for you. Oh, go, go for it. Go for it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So check this out. I know you're really busy, but I just had about, about six little small questions just come in. <laughs> I'm keeping it at six. It's still coming in, but I seen the first ones. So look, so we know that you're doing this Forex journey. And we know that you are not going to set your generation up. We know we got your little nephew out there marking up charts with his cute self, right? So let me ask you something. Why did you, why did you start this journey? Wow. So I'm, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it short. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know, I'm a military veteran. So I ended up retiring early because I you know, had breast cancer. So once I retired, like the the military money was good. Like I was getting good. I was like, I ain't got to worry about it. I'm taking care of everything. But once I retired, the check wasn't the same. Mm. So I had to figure out some ways on how to actually get some money, right? Because I, I wasn't the one for this for this time. Because I before I retired, I hadn't worked like three years before that because I was on doing medical treatments. Okay. So I wasn't used to that that routine going nine to five job anymore. So once I was officially retired, I was like, man, I know I ain't going to get no job. For one, it's a lot of stuff I can't do. And for two, that ain't for me anymore. I, I'm used now to being at home and clicking the check. So I had to figure out something. I had to figure out something to put my mind to that was going to bring in some money, something I can teach my niece and nephews. Because even though I don't have kids, I've always been about the future generation, which is my niece and nephews. So I had to figure out something. I came across network marketing. Did quite a few things, but then I, um, like I mentioned before, I went on YouTube because I got an interest in forex and trading. So I went on YouTube, looked at a couple of things, won some money, lost way more than I won, and then I came across the academy, of course, and that's when it it, it hit. It was like, man, I can be growing my money, teaching other generations, mm -hmm. and just sharing this with my people, with my community, and people are winning. They look just like me. 
So to me, Forex was the solution. That's how I got on this journey because I wanted to learn how to grow my money and teach others how to do it as well. So that's pretty much how, how it started without going into a long, you know, story about it. Wow. But you know, that's so powerful just to piggyback off of what you said. One thing that I, I noticed that you said is you wasn't about to settle. So many people settle, my Keisha. They settle for the $14 an hour. They settle for the $20 an hour. They settle for the just the military uh, check, right? Because it's like, oh, it's good. It's just, it's just 100%, 90%. It's this big lump sum. But you cannot, you cannot grow from that. It's, it, it will keep you just in the comfort zone. So it lets me know that you love yourself. That's part of self-love. See, people think they love themselves, my Keisha. But if they really love themselves, why would they be settling? We're going to go on to the next question with that one. <laughs> so, so check this out. Why didn't you, uh, why, why do you think that it, um, cause I know you said you've been doing this for about 10 years. And so why now though? Like, why do you think it took you 10 years to see the success that you're seeing right now? Good question. Very good question. So like you said, I'm, I'm not one to settle. It's the military background in me. It's being the oldest sibling and taking care of my siblings, all of that in me. I'm not a quitter. So when I started off two years ago in the marketing field and doing all the online type of stuff, right? Um, I wasn't succeeding, but I wasn't going to give up. So it took all that time. And all that time, I thought it was failures, but it wasn't really failures. It was um, the universe just building me up and knowing that I need to become a certain person, mm. you know, and change my mindset and things that had going on within me to be able to achieve the success that I'm at now. So now that I'm here, I was preparing all that time, all those two years, was preparing for this massive explosion of success that I'm seeing now. So just preparation and becoming who I needed to become so that I can show others the way. I just put it like that. Wow. So time, things I must experience. So you had to experience things to become a certain person to be able to attract the certain things to put you in alignment yes yes yeah and that's living that supernatural that supernatural world mm -hmm. exactly. yes and i want you guys to pay attention to what you see in our backgrounds like somebody said wow look at that vision environment like guys we are submersing like you can y'all can't see the rest of my house but I got signs all over my wall. I got my smart money TV up watching uh, uh, smart money TV channels right now, right? Um, like everywhere we have in our background, we are submersing ourselves with what we want to manifest. That's things that successful people do. Like I got all these notes she got, all of her, look at how many books and stuff she got, right? You got to expand your awareness. So um, really quick, how much have you learned in a short amount of time? Like, actually, like, once you got, I know you said you was doing this at first with YouTube, but it didn't pan out right. So how much have you been learning now that you're with our school? Man, um, without giving out any type of claims, but since I first started the school, it took me maybe like a week to get my investment back. Because it's all about investment, right? You go to school, pay to get your degree, and then we don't know what happens after then. But what happened well, it only took me maybe a week or two and then as i started to get more involved in this generation 12 community and the whole community it only took me remember i've been on this journey for like 10 years but within like three months i was a totally different person i started to because people don't realize that when you start to trade really start to trade it's a whole mental game this book here it was on my facebook the early day trading in the zone it's so many different it changed your mindset. Think and grow rich. I got books all around me, but it took for the whole 10 years in three months, I was a totally different person just being involved in this community. Now I'm speaking to you, right? I'm on, I'm on Facebook lives and stuff. I'm doing videos and people that grow up with me know that now nah, I'm a person being in the background. I don't want to say anything. I just watch the dessert. I'll be on the sidelines, but this taught me not to be on the sidelines anymore. And now Things are just, it's, it's just crazy. Like I said, it's, just, it's crazy, but in a good way. Yeah, but it didn't take long once I joined with the right community. It took all these years for me to get to the right community and trust the process as well. Wow. 
powerful, powerful, powerful. Once again, environment is key. If you guys think about your five close friends close to you, I want you to ask yourself, out of the five closest friends, are they business owners or employees? Mm -hmm. And when I say business owner, a lot of people like to confuse self-employed and business owners, two different things. Somebody that's self-employed don't have leverage. They're working for themselves. Somebody that's a business owner has leverage. They can make money in their sleep. So just two more questions. So you kind of already, well, I guess you think you touched on it. Maybe you can elaborate a little bit more. How is the community support? Because I know people are always like, oh, is that one of those things like that I'm going to be like by myself and I'm just going to like, somebody's just going to sign me up and leave me? <laughs> mm, no, not at all. Like I've been through different companies and yes, it was like that. But this one is, is different, right? Every week I talk to people that's on my team every week. Um, even with the whole community, you know, Generation 12, every day in our Facebook thing, you know when everybody's up because everybody's speaking like, hey, Grand Rising, good morning. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Post your calendars for today. Here's inspiration. Hey, here's the chart markups. Like the community, we have a powerful, powerful support, support community and we all have each other's cell phone numbers. So it ain't no, oh, you're just going to sign up. You go through, you do whatever and mm, we're good. We got to sign up. No, 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 no. We're a whole family. Just the other day, you know, I had to miss it, but they had a barbecue. They had a barbecue. Before that, they had something else. Like, stuff is always going on within the community because we're all family. So once you lock arms with whoever you decide to lock arms with, we're all one. We're all family. We're all here to help everybody involved. We're all here. The people are growing on the team. Like, I can go all day about this because I'm seeing so much growth on the team, not just financially, which is great, but also mentally. Cause they go hand in hand, right? But support system, excellent, powerful. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Wow, wow, wow! And yeah, I love my G12 family. Like, like you said, we could be on here for hours speaking about success. I just remember this one day. It was just so much success in the group. Somebody just manifested. Shout out to Lakeisha. She manifested her new car with that that red leather mm -hmm. interior. People Ooh. were making money trading that day. Shout out to D. Renee. I think she was making money trading live. Like, mm -hmm. it was just one day. It was just so much success. And it's like that every day, you guys. So, yeah, I love my G12. Shout out to all my money apps. Shout out to all my G12 families. Like, we lit, yo. So, two more questions. So, do you feel that belief and mindset is, like, an important factor to business? I know you touched on that yeah. a little Yes, yes it is. Cause like I said, I don't think I was experiencing like much success earlier in my career because the whole mindset. It was all okay, it's not happening right now. I'm done. Forget it. It, it ain't for me. But once I start to develop that mindset and that belief of I know that I deserve success, I know that I'm greatness, I know that I have to keep doing this, not just for myself, because I no longer became selfish when I got involved in this community. It's not just about me anymore. It's about my future generations. So anytime I feel like, because we have bad days, right? But anytime I feel like giving up, I look, like she said, I, I'm not going to take you to my bedroom, but in my bedroom are my reasons why. All, everybody, from my barbers, so I know I need to do this for, to my nieces, my family, friends that I know are good friends, people I've met, and I like write their names on the board, because as I progress, I know that it's for them, for their generations, not just my family, but other people's family as well. So belief plays a powerful, powerful role when it comes to business because you're going to want to give up. But you got to know your reasons why and understand it's not about you. So you have to keep pushing forward regardless of what's going on in, in this, in this reality, so-called reality, right? So it's all within you and definitely belief plays a major role when it comes to business. Wow, wow. Now, would you say... That's why we probably have less people being successful is from the lack of belief. Yes, yes, yes. Some people believe that, you know, you might see somebody else that's doing it and you're like, no, I don't think I can do that. I don't believe that's, that's me. It doesn't matter. My whole philosophy, if I see one other person doing it, oh, I know I can do it too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think it goes back to that you can't walk in faith and fear thing because we like, a lot of times we like to be so hard out on the streets, but be so fearful inside. 
just to make a committed decision on something. So, you know, um, do we really believe in ourselves like we really do? Or is our ego, you know, portraying that false person? I think a lot of times people live behind a false image. And Mm -hmm. it really is just, it's just, it's just a false image because it's, it's the uh, fear of self, fear of being fully who they are, you know, worried about what somebody else may say. Cause we already know like that's like the number one thing, but and in, in to, in to close it up and to wrap it up, you kind of already said it. Most people like to hold information like this, but you, you have no problem with sharing the information. Was there any point where you didn't want to share this information with people? It was. So when I first, because I met this community really bought stuff out of me um, in a good way. So when I first started, I was like, no, I don't know if I want to share this with anybody because I don't know how it's going to work out for me yet. I didn't have that strong belief system. But once I started to do it, and I was like, oh, oh, this works. Okay, you know what? Let me share this with the world. I don't care what kind of comfort zone I got to come out of, out of my speaking comfort zone, because you know, I have a fear of public speaking, we're used to. And I started sharing this with the world. It doesn't matter. Some people are gonna say no. It doesn't matter. I know I did my do my, my justice by at least informing people, hey, there's another way to life. There's another way for you to achieve financial security. Not just the conventional way. You have other ways. And that's what me and Ice are here to show you. And anybody that invites you on this Facebook Live. Yes, yes, yes. So powerful, so powerful. And that's what I definitely love about our community because we're not hoarding information. And I think sometimes people are so used to not really probably receiving uh, blessings, whether whether they're aware or not. And so sometimes they think, well, what's in it for you? Like, why are you sharing this information? Because there's not a lot of kind people out there, right? So the this is the reason why I do it. I do it to be able to bring the awareness to the people because obviously Houston, we have a problem and it's money and Forex is the solution. So, you know, that's why I do what I do. And I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of people in my G12 family do what we do. So pretty much that was the last question that I had um, coming to my comment feed. Um, I just want to say, wrap it up. I'm going to pass it back to you. Is you guys make sure you go ahead and get in this seven day money app group. Once again, it's closing tonight at nine. And when you get in the group, don't be a peekaboo. If you want to join this group, be in the group to interact. Don't be in the group like an FBI agent in the background. Once again, you went from looking on the sidelines on Facebook, now you're looking on the sidelines in the money app group. I just, I just, I don't get it. Come on, y'all. Help me, help me understand. Well, that's all I really have. Comment money app below. Like I said, if somebody invited you to this live, hit them up and let them get the, get them in there. That's all I have, my Keisha. What about you? All right. Um, that's pretty much it. I want to say thank you for allowing me to ask you questions. I appreciate it. For those of you that are watching, for those who are going to watch the replay over and over again, we told you the path to financial freedom Get that money app. Get inside this seven-day free trial. Come on now. It's a free trial. You can get in there so you can put your toe in the, toe in the water and see how it's going to work for you, which I know it's going to work. So whoever is watching this, just comment or get back with another person and let them know, hey, I want to get in that money app group and see what y'all talking about. Because at 9 o'clock, I'm going to say 7. Because I want, I want some high-action people. This is some military thing. I want you to be, you know, some high-speed people. So by 7 p.m., we're closing the group. So you need to go ahead and get back with whoever, me, ISIS, or whoever got you on this on this call, and get in and see what it's all about so you can get on your path to financial freedom. I want to say thank you, ISIS. Thank you, everyone, for your time and for watching. And that's all for me. All right. One more thing in closing. If you guys are watching the replay two days from now, three days from now, four days from now, and obviously it's going to be past the date, but you're just watching it four days from now, still comment money app, still get back with the person because we do this trial here so often and you may just be put on the waiting list for the next one. So still comment even after the fact. We'll catch you guys at the beaches and the banks all around the world. Okay, cool. I just ended it on uh, Okay on uh facebook i appreciate how long was it it was 40 uh oh shoot i ended the watch party too quick but it's all good 
um, for like 46 minutes. But it's good okay. to get about 30, so 30 or so more minutes on because uh, it just runs, you know, builds up the algorithms. Mm -hmm. But um, cool. yeah, that was lit. So I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, so with the website, um, I'm, I'm still getting accustomed to like telling people what to do versus here's the website. Like it has to be like a starting point for me to do it. Like here's the website. Just read the first tab, which is a uh, welcome to G12. Welcome to G12. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, and I think I, I don't want people. I mean, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I was somebody new. I wonder, do people feel like they have to go through all of this? You get what I'm saying? Like, because they really, I mean, well, you are kind of going through all of it. Because if you go through the module, you go through you the module. week one. So technically, week one is all they should be focused on, on their first week. Got you. So we might need to put a bug in people's ear, like, a, you know, make sure about time you get down to, Hold on. Wait a minute. Where that part is? Hold on. Let me see. The week one. That's under. Okay. Yeah. That's the schedule. Okay. Cool. So we can say, hey, you know, basically after you get finished with the Welcome to G12, you're going to be focusing on week one. And then you can move down to like, let's get started or something like that. Yeah. Because they might try to watch all the week videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, just, just, just knock out week one first. And you yeah. finish one. Then you come back. That's how we're gonna have to uh, mm -hmm. we'll have to let people know that because I have yeah. a feeling people are gonna try to go through this whole thing <laughs> and just look at it. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so, yeah. huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, tell them, hey, um, here here's the site. Of course, if you have any questions? I'm you know we speak every week or whatever. But you know your first thing to do is watch the Welcome to G12. Can't get that power nap in. Welcome to G12. No. no. <laughs> And knock out um week one. Got you. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I gotta knock out the power now. But the thing is, I don't got I don't got time for it right now. <laughs> I was up pretty late last night. Mm -hmm. Um on Kim session and stuff, marking them charts. But yeah, I got a pretty light schedule today, but I didn't got real confident upon this real estate. I had talked to two of my coaches this week and um literally the same thing you do how we hit people up every day and all that it's the same way you do with real estate so i had to keep telling myself isis you're dealing with the same 95 percent mm -hmm. i'm even you know with some of the and you know the sellers and stuff like that so um i'm just gonna or uh, hire a virtual assistant okay yeah do the leg work of prospecting on that side mm -hmm. so i was like you know, me and systems, I'm still learning about them, but I know they're my best friend. <laughs> I mean, I love systems. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So I'm excited about that class, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, because try to see what else oh, I can put up, yeah. put up in my arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I got the got my presentation tonight at seven. Yeah. Oh dang. That's mm -hmm. what we should put in there. Oh shit. That was, that was the whole point of the game. That was the whole point. <laughs> 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 that, it. that was the whole point of the, the Facebook Live. That was. Uh, <laughs> then I forgot. Maybe I'm doing another video there. When you share it from my page, you can put it in the captions. Like, um, hey, you know, uh, you know, tonight I'm doing my call, whatever. Check out the interview for today. And I don't know, something. Okay, I can kind of work it in because I didn't even put in my notes or nothing either.